Hi guys, and welcome back to episode 36 of the Rain Series. In the previous episode, we went into Interchange and we absolutely kicked ass and chewed bubblegum. Uh, in this episode, I want to kind of get a couple more Interchange tasks done that we might explore somewhere else depending on our time and also continue to con uh, increase that money so when the um, Intel Center is ready to upgrade, we've got all the parts ready to go and we can get a Bitcoin farm cranking out soon, pretty soon, to be honest. So without further ado, let's crack straight into it. So, um, we still need to get our SVD kills for Punisher Part 6, and we will continually work on that. Uh, we were thankful enough to get a few of our uh, tasks done last raid for, or last raid for, last episode for uh, Interchange, but we need to get a couple of other things done. So, first up, minibus. Let's get the uh, three markers for minibus, and then also we will work on potentially going on inside and grabbing the books. If we get minibus and those two books done, I would like to get so good part three done. I think the armor's here. Oh, is it Ragman now? We need we need to level up more anyway. So I think we should be close to 30. No, we're not. <laughs> All right. So interchange. We need three markers or minibus. We'll continue to try and hunt plays down on the outside. And if we feel like frolicking inside for the book, we will. That's the plan. Now, some, someone made a point today, as also I will touch on it. For Peacekeeper, I believe it's Peacekeeper level 2. We're actually level 3 Peacekeeper now. I'm just examining on our way down. Alright, so this. I'm pretty sure it's Peacekeeper 2. It is. This costs about 1.2 million rubles. Now, this is the beta container. Um, I, apparently I need to examine that. Is there a way to examine it from here? No. All right, this cost about 1.2 million rubles and it's the beta container. Now, if you know how to make money and I've been trying to teach you guys that, if you get Peacekeeper level two, which you can do quite early and you have the flea market unlock, you could buy all these items and get a beta container. A beta container is two more squares, but the way I see it is, it's not really worth me investing that kind of money when I can just do the Punisher quest line, get the Epsilon and I've got eight spaces instead of six. So 1.2 million that could be going to the hideout or doing something else gear questing whatever but i actually do think it's a good idea if you're particularly taking a lot longer to progress down the punisher quest line that you get the uh beta container earlier on so in the past it was like three four million rubles i didn't think it was worthwhile now i do actually think it's worthwhile so whoever said that in my chat today on stream thank you i think that's a very valid point now, apparently you've been commenting in the comments i apologize that i missed it um but yeah i think it's a very valid point now um we're going to go into interchange. We're going to get the stuff done there. I might cheekily do a scav run. Let me think. Mm, do I want to do a scav run? Probably not. Kind of like we've, we've got a little bit of money. I kind of like just continually pushing for our progression, you know? Um, Alton facials. They're super cheap. I'm not going to be selling this one. Chlorine. I don't even know what you need this for. Um, let's get rid of another car battery. And we'll just sell this stuff to Ragman. I actually feel like this to Ragman isn't the worst idea because um, it's just 132,000 rules is like a full loadout or I can have an armor. Yeah, I don't know. Um, we will hold on to this because we're going to use this face shield once we get the Zabrello to do the... Uh, I'll probably go into factory, try and get some kills on factory. But we need more levels or something to get the Zabrello. I think it's Ragman level 3. You could do the first barter trade. Uh, let's get that one done. Cool. I might just chuck these down here for now because there is a quest that needs these two. And wait, there's also a quest for that one too. Um, we are very close to a quest that requires us to have two black rocks as well. But what I want to do is craft another black rock. I'm pretty sure it's laboratory level two. It is one. 
two, three. Cool. And that will just be handy for whenever we get to that quest. I think it's um, it's either straight after so a good part three or I don't know. It's around here though. It's around the completion of this. All right, let's get into that interchange raid. All right, we're in. Now, the three minibuses to mark are all located between the center and the right-hand side. So, as we're running around here, we'll try and kill people as we go. Could go just on here for a sec. Just gonna watch for a second. Pretty common someone to run through here. Do 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 do. Sometimes they run around the back. Oh, I thought it'd be worth having a quick look. And then that's the same on this road too. Full covert, hiding in the grass. Man, the last, last raid we did was like insanely busy. I'm paranoid now that I haven't heard any shots yet. There we go. Now I'm at home. Gun battles. All right, first minibus is right in front of us. We could do it before and frisky. You go get one of the books. I'm just over here. Should be fairly safe to do so. Well, we might run into one player or a few scars. Just go up, turn left, pick up the book from up there, and then we come back down here and continue on our mini buses. That's what I saw. Yeah. Is someone over at the uh, power station?
Interesting. I'm going to be patient here. Hundred percent just heard someone run up there. I'm gonna try and talk my way through here. Excuse me, sir. Hello there. Excuse me. Should not be going through the same doorway. Yeet! Was a safe distance there. Damn it. <sighs> that sucks. That sucks. Oh, I think an M67 might have a slightly larger. I thought he had an I thought he had an Ash 12, but he had a MK47 that was just really badly modded, I think. Um it was an M67, I think it got a slightly larger explosion radius. But yeah. That's probably why I died. I knew I was pushing it lit close, but I didn't want to just go wide. I should have just ran wide or ran to the other side of that fucking barrier. The bookcase. Mistakes were made. All right, so we need to get another loadout on. Probably go repair that. Damn, repair that. Cool. And then I don't really need grenades. Um, gun. We need an SVD. I think it's bugged out. To buy an SVD. You want one that's actually in a good nick. Why aren't these out of a hundred? Let's buy one new. Must be scav, scav, uh, not the scav fund. Reset. Is it possible just to chuck a rail on here somewhere? Can we buy that? Can cool. All right, and then we'll figure out what we want to put on it from there. Uh, what else did I want to do? Have to buy a few more of these. And I'll probably buy some PSMO. I 
Another good stack of ammo. Cool. Now, for this... What do I want to use? Oh, it's a, ah, it's cool. Okay, so hang on, I'll do it this way. Edit preset. I'll put on. I'll put on a thirty-four mil. Thirty mil mount in the bars. Should be able to get that pretty cheap. Really, is that the cheapest I can get it? Yes. Cool. All right, that'll do. Backpack time. I'm there for now. I'm lazy. I'm just going to sell some stuff here. part three all right that's everything we need all right we need two sorry everything we need for a loadout we need two markers still Let's go back into um uh to go back into any change all right cool let's let's win this time try back in there if we die again we're gonna have to do a scavenger to keep topping up that cash all right um, for this, we're just going to run along this wall as fast as humanly possible. We might get lucky to be able to pick someone off. Anyone yet? What the heck? What the fuck was that? Might run into someone doing hidden stashes over here, actually. Get the marker down before I push. I 
sounds like the shots are underneath. Or at the front, or both. The corner's a pretty deadly corner to sit at, to be honest. out there. Fuck. I'm trapped here. I can't see him pushing out that. Huh. Stranger things have happened, I guess. Really shouldn't have stood still there. being him. I'm just going to wait for a sec. Hey, drop. This actually could be a good opportunity for us to get some kills. I didn't think, it, okay, so let me explain. When I killed that guy, I wasn't sure who, if it was the guy I was fighting before. Then I went up and looted him and the fucking, um, uh, he didn't have any green tracer stuff. Like he could have had the nine mil green tracer, but there was no way the guy was shooting long range with nine mil green tracer like that. That would have been a totally different sound. So then I was like, fuck, all right. Then the airdrop was above me. I just wanted to quickly find out where the airdrop was so I could move away from that area towards the airdrop and cover it. And that's when I started running back into that compound. And there's the gap in the fucking fence. It's too small for me to run through that gap. So then I get shot and had nowhere to run. Ugh. I should have just ignored that player out dead on the ground. It really didn't add anything to me. And I knew I was pretty, I was fairly confident I was getting shot up by M62. At least I got one more kill. But it's not good enough. That 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 shouldn't have happened. That guy should not have been able to push out that doorway with me and get the kill. I should have laid completely still and made him think that I was still uh that I was dead. <sighs> Fuck. Alright, SVD again.
We can buy a couple of these, so. Gear 2 has the mount. And then we need edit preset. This is the easiest way of doing it. Yep. All right. All right. So we'll use the gazelle now. Ah, wrong button. I think the plan I'm going to go with moving forward is actually just to take a small rig. Could even take in this. And I'm probably only going to take like two spare mags. And then instead I'll go like that and put a stack here. Reload. There. Contacts. Helmet. To be honest, fucking hell, it's not going to do a lot here. And then take that. Five, six. And I need another marker now because I died. It sucks that the player was getting shot at by the scav and he saw me. Because really what I was going to do is let the scav kind of shoot him. Once he clear attacks the scav, I had a clear fucking opportunity to kill him then. But he in some way, shape or form saw me. While the scav was shooting at me and then switched to the side and start shooting on me. Ah, oh, fuck. I made so many mistakes on that. I should have just flanked. As soon as I killed that guy, I shouldn't have stuck around. I don't know why I did what I did. All right. That's all right. We need to uh, gear up and we definitely need to get some more money. I'm thinking of just a cheeky scav run just to do a quick top up. Wouldn't be the worst here. Go. All right, we're in. Go get some loot. I thought he shot at me, but then how did he miss? And then, oh, okay, maybe he's not going to aggro on me. But nope, nope, he definitely did want to aggro on me. <laughs> he kills a jerk. Just murdered me. Cold blood. Um, cool. All right, so again, um, we've got the marker. We've got ammo. We've got meds. Let's go get the kills. Interchange. Let's go. All right. This looks awfully familiar. I'm going to go up here and see if I can kill the guys that spawns over here. And yeah, maybe didn't spawn there. I actually feel like if you stayed here a while, you'd probably get a few kills because there's hidden stash there, people would loot. Hidden stash here that people loot. Hidden stash here that people loot. Could be a little bit patient. See if power's turned on. Not yet. Oh 
come on. Yeah. Good night, holy shit. That's not my shot. Oh, I'm dead. Pushing hard. We need to flank as fast as far as wide as we can. Really need to make sure on the first shot that I killed someone. Did I actually get one? I don't think I did though. This is where I was talking about flanking is important. I reckon his mate pushed across. There he is. I swear I saw him. That wasn't just a... Weed shadow. What I think is going to happen, he's going to be trying to cover his mate's body. How did that not headshot him? 
Need to move quick. Thank you for dying. There's a chance the third party might happen now because we're taking so long. Good fight though. I shouldn't have fucked up the start though. That's the, the biggest thing from this. Take from this. Make sure you hit the easy ones. Doing like this. Cool. Two more kills. Yeah. Just constantly moving around so they're not expecting you. Okay, they're like, okay, he, he last shot over there and then they. they Okay, oh, yeah, last shot was over there, so I'll make sure I put my, you know, the wall between me and that shot. But then you keep flanking around and moving around. It makes it really hard for them to counter. Now we full. We'll top up one of these mags. Spawns here. This one's right on this corner, guys. So, I'd like to get close. Glass break. Next mini bus is over here. I think I might extract and reset. Okay. I was already taking the car. After a couple of hours, it's nice to get a win under your belt.
I really, 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 really should have had the first guy drop straight away. There's a few times where they were like strafing left or right like this, but they were like parallel to me. Or offset to me. Now nah, you want to word, word it, but would have been a clean, easy headshot and I just fucked it. I waited a little bit too long. I was trying to make it so they were really stuck in the open with nowhere to go. Nice to have some one, some like actual fights that aren't over in one bullet too, because I can at least show you how you should try and act in those situations. Like blanking and maneuvering is really, really important. He should have just left his mate's gear or covered his mate's gear. There's no no real reason why he should have looted then. It was either leave his gear or cover it. Yeah, we spawned in uh, right next to Idea. We just kind of held the top of the hill bit just to fight people that were coming past. And we uh, got to kill two players. So, worked out well in the end. A couple more kills. And, um, yeah. The rest of that pathing was just running straight towards the extract while marking the uh, minibus on the way. Um, all right, so quest, send the quest in first. Minibus. All right, no follow on quest, but. Ward nonetheless. These aside. I'm not using these AKs at all. The food aside for now, we'll use those contacts. Uh, they're to sell. Now the only quest we really have left for um, for interchange is to get the books out. So that's uh, the key to success. So our daily still requires us to do how many interchange runs? Oh, sorry, a weekly. Um, eight more. So over the next couple of episodes, I'll probably just do like. I know, I guess it's two. Maybe I'll just do some quick loot runs or something. Two, if I do one to two raids an episode, hopefully we'll get us there. We still need five more PMC kills. I don't want to end this episode here. Scav's up. So, do we just do a scav run? Or do we... Oh, bad selling these guns, but... Just no good. Um, the idea I was going to do is going to go into factory with a double barrel. If I do something like this, this is just for a bit of fun, a bit of a meme. Um, leave that behind. Leave this behind. Want my factory key and the meds can all go in there now that we have jaeger level two we can buy 8.5 mil buckshot and at level one we get the double barrel let's just do this for a bit of fun maybe for armor i'll just take that all right and that's it we go in we try and blow some people apart for a bit of fun all right, we still need to get kills in the office area. Single fire. I 
think I killed this guy then. Do I need the flash drive? I think I do. Pro kill. Shield. <laughs> Another kill in the office area. Chetties. Chasing down over there. Dead. Do you think it's shocking? It's a tiger. Tiger scan. Killed Shimu. What a feeling. Shouldn't have done that. <laughs> He's going the distance. He's going for speed. Oh, we got scout. Oh, we'll finish that next episode. Little raid, a couple of dog tags, a bit of money, pro kill on a GP. So yeah, when that guy was standing up there with the, uh, he had a helmet on and body armor. The only way I was going to kill him was legs, stomach, or uh, arms, and his stomach was protected too. So it was literally just legs. So I shot him in the leg when he ran out and wide peaked, and uh, 8.5 mil buckshot will do that. He will destroy people in the legs.
there's a good chance he already had a little tiny bit of damage, which was enough to put him over the death meter. Um, besides that, they go, guys, that's going to have to be the end of this episode. Uh, we'll wheel saw both, both of them, sell them, we'll keep that. Pretty much everything else here is going to be sold. I might keep that shotgun and use it. Uh, I want to get the scout done, so. I don't think we can repair that face shield at all, but we might be able to buy a new one. They're actually pretty strong early on. Cool. Uh, repair or sell. It wasn't really that much of a loss then because it was 20k for the new face shield, but it was only we vended it for a bit. So uh, I think the pro kill and the GP coin might be better to flee. 69 and 27. Kills worth fleeing. We're at 69, 420. The rest of this is pretty much straight vendor. This will sell for that. Mm, vendor the rest. 8.5 mil buckshot we want to keep. Cool. A little bit of money on top. Nice to have. And it was a cheeky little successful raid too. I uh, probably need better meds now. Got two more PMC kills towards our daily. So I've got probably one more episode I can film today, which means I should be able to get that daily done no problem whatsoever. And then this one. And then, uh, yeah, we'll work it out from there. Don't think we're going to do the armor train one. And unless we find a water filter, that's not going to happen either. But that's it for this episode, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Please like, and comment for the YouTube algorithm. If you've got any friends that have just started playing Tarkov, you've been watching all the way to here. Like, you know, like, I'll make Kevin start playing Tarkov. I think they'd be interested in the raid series. Go, go send him a link. That's the best way you can support us. As well as subscribing. It costs you nothing. Uh, notification bell if you want to know exactly when the episodes go, go live. Um, and there's a lot of fun and entertaining content also going out on our main channel. So if you want to check out the Pestily channel as well, um, please do. We might see some lighter Neva content up there very soon. So that's it, guys. Lastly, I'll see you next time.